in the landscape of ASCO, targeted therapy, novel therapies, a lot of the studies on biomarkers on how to address the subset of patient. But also the question is that how we can use these novel therapy in a frontline setting. So abiraterone is a hormonal suppressant that suppresses the um, making of um, male hormone in, in, in the cells. And um, <coughs> this has been, this is approved in um, prostate cancer in a relapse refractory setting after standard therapy. And here this has been used in combination with hormonal therapy in a neoadjuvant driven setting for high-risk local disease. So patients who have extensive disease, high risk of local involvement in the pelvis, high PSAs, those patients do very poorly even with the prostatectomy and adjuvant therapy. So here this is trying to look at, trying to, can we suppress the uh, home, the tumor cells and and lead them to apoptosis and regress to tumor like we do in a breast cancer neoadjuvant setting to try to induce responses prior to the therapy and improve the benefit of the surgical procedure. So this is exactly what was done in combination with two different schedules looking at uh, abiraterone with combination with the hormonal suppression and showing that at the highest dose, especially there was a very large number, two thirds of the patient who actually had a pathological or near pathological CR at the time of their surgery. So hopefully this will translate into a clinical benefit and will have to be confirmed in further trials, but this was very impressive.